Welcome, this is Arithmetic here with the SimCity 4 tutorial for you. This is one of my regions here, and you can see that SimCity's region view is actually a very nice bird's eye perspective. However, you can't view the full area without scrolling around, which is kind of annoying. But what if you could see the entire region as one image, a satellite view, or even a 2D map? It'd be pretty cool, right? Like this. Or even like this. I'm going to give you the rundown on how to accomplish this and have your very own maps for your own regions. First off, shout out to SimCity Gamer Danilo Dorado and Curitiba Brazil for uh, giving me the advice on making maps. Please hit the subscribe button below and let's get straight to it. First thing you'll need to build your maps is to download an awesome app called Region Census. It's available for download on sc4devotion.com. There's a link in the description. Now you will need to create an account to download materials from this website, however it is free. You just need an email address, and once your account's created, you can download all the lots and files. Once you download the region census, you'll open it up and you'll get a screen that looks just like this. First thing you wanna do is navigate to your region folder. So go to open region here. And it's typically under your documents here. So you have documents, SimCity 4, and then regions. And from there, we'll open the region I just had open, a strike in Fort Washington. And once you get it opened up, you see it displays some pretty cool information. You can see the population of the residential, commercial, and industrial for the entire region. And then also, if you click on city info, it breaks it down for each individual city. Now the feature we're gonna focus on though, is the image. To see here, gives us a wonderful image of the entire region here. And you can actually toggle this between bird's eye view and then also the traffic view. And what we're gonna do is utilize both of these images here to create our 2D map and 2D satellite view. So first thing we'll do, go to file, save image, make it a JPEG. We'll name this a Strachan Fort Washington Transit. And then now we'll toggle off the traffic view. Get our bird's eye view. Again, go to file, save image. We'll just call this one a strike in Fort Washington. Also save that as a JPEG. Cool, and that's all we really need from region census. Uh, now that we have our bird's eye view and traffic view map, we'll use these two to create those 2D satellite view and regional transportation maps. Now, just create copies of the files here. I like to save the originals because those are pretty cool views, but we'll call the one the transit map. And we'll call the other one satellite view. And from here, we'll open these two up in Photoshop. Now you can use any image editing software. It is important that the software you use allows you to resize and rotate images at specific values. That's why I prefer Photoshop. So now that we have Photoshop open, go to open and we'll get our transit map and satellite view files here. We'll open those up. And here they are, beautifully in Photoshop. Now, it's pretty simple from here. Just follow these steps and we'll turn them into 2D images here. Once they're open, we'll start with the transit map here. You'll go to Image, 
you'll go to image size. Make sure the constrained proportions is off. You wanna make sure you can edit each individual width or height. In this uh, situation, we'll only focus on the width. Turn it into percent. And we are actually going to reduce the width here to 50.6659%. And once you do that, just the width and hit okay. It's gonna shrink it down, but as you see, we're already getting more of a 2D image here, but it's at that funny angle. So the next thing you're gonna do, let's go to image, image rotation, arbitrary. Make sure it's on CCW or counterclockwise degree shift here. And the angle I found that's uh, most accurate is 22.58 counterclockwise. Do that and hit okay. And now we have a wonderful 2D transportation image of our region. What I'll do here is just employ a basic crop around the main part of the image here. Highlight that, image crop, voila. And now we'll save that. Same thing here in the bird's eye view, image, image size, strain proportions is off as a percent, 50.6659%. Okay. Then image, image rotation, arbitrary, 22.58 degrees counterclockwise. And now that one's a 2D image as well. Highlight it. image crop and you have your 2d image for the satellite view here it's pretty neat it gives you a perspective that you never really can see in the game you can save this as a jpeg file which is pretty cool upload it online gives you a bigger perspective of the region as a whole now what you could also do with your transit map to make it a little more accurate you know use a key is add the one that SimCity 4 gives you. Now, earlier I took a screenshot of the legend that is in the game when you go to transportation view, crop that down, copy this here, go to your transit map, paste that on the image here, move that to where you want. In Photoshop, if you want to resize it, you just hit control T that will bring up the little box around here. You don't want to just drag it immediately because that changes the proportions. If you like that style, that's cool. I like to keep it at the same proportion, so we're not going to do that. If you hold shift while you grab that corner, it will actually maintain the accurate proportions there. And you can just resize that to a size that fits. Hit enter. Now, if you notice, it gives you the icons for the airport and seaport. This being a more inland region, no seaports, but I do have two airports here that I do want identified, so I also took the time to crop out the symbols here in separate files for the airplane and the ship anchor for the seaport. If you do that, you honestly just create a new layer, erase everything around the image icon, and then that leaves you with a PNG file that only captures the shape itself without the background. But for the airport here, we'll just Control C, copy that, go back to our transportation map. Let's zoom in on each airport here. We'll start with this one. Control V or Command V on Mac, paste that sucker there. Voila, now our airport is identified there. And for the other airport here, drag the icon and we now have our airports indicated on the map here. Now you can save this JPEG here. Overwrite the original. Save the bird's eye view. And now You open it up, you have your 2D image, which you can upload online. 
You can even go into paint, crop it down so that you don't have the black border around there, but pretty cool feature. It allows you to see your region in a pretty unique perspective. If you like to create city journals and you know map out your transit networks, this is an easy way to get that 2D image so you can make proportion maps and share your regional creations online. But that's about it for the tutorial. Definitely stay posted. I'll be releasing some other tutorials on how I build my regions and show you this region of Straken and a few others in detail. But thank you for joining and until next time, enjoy your SimCity fun.